Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. I own Learberg with my wife. A really good question here on separation anxiety with dogs, especially a new dog that came out of, a, in my opinion, a puppy mill. You don't need to be a customer of Learberg to ask these kind of questions. Uh, if you go to the front of Learberg.com, scroll down to the Ask Cindy, uh, Cindy answers all the questions that come in, and usually in a very timely fashion. She gets up in the morning, takes care of our horses, comes back in, sits down, has a cup of coffee, and answers questions. We have a database with over 3,500 good questions. <laughs> we have... I don't know how many more than 3,500 we got, but thousands more. But we pick the really good ones and we put them in the database that's searchable. So I'm going to read this and then we'll discuss it. She said, good morning. I just recently adopted an eight-month-old female husky. Her previous owners were hobby breeders and she was kept in her kennel constantly. I'm going to butt into this, reading this and say, wait a minute hobby breeders and they kept a puppy in a kennel nonstop for eight months. That's a puppy mill that couldn't sell a dog. I'm sorry, I have no respect for people that do this. I ran a breeding facility for 35 years and I had five full-time people working for me. We haven't bred dogs in almost 12 years now. So just my point, I'm pretty I'm pretty down on people that don't do a good job taking care of their dogs, be it puppies or not, and this was not, should not be called a reputable breeder. I have no other behavior issues with her besides when she is kenneled. When I'm not home, she gets frantic and will try and destroy the kennel. And I think this lady's talking about a, a wire dog crate, which is confirmed. What's the best way to train a puppy that panics in the kennel? If I'm in her sight, she will lay down in the kennel with the door open or closed with no issues. She will engage in relaxing in the kennel without being prompted. It says a lot about this person that wrote this, that, that she has a decent relationship with this puppy, that it'll do that. And Cindy's answer is, my guess is, that this is separation anxiety. How long have you had the dog? And what kind of crate are you using? And the person came back and she said, I've only had the dog for four days. So I know it's a little ambitious that she will be comfortable in that short a period of time. Currently I'm using the generic metal great cage that you can get from PetSmart. I already started working on marker I already started working her on marker training with a clicker for her to wait to be released. Four days, that's too soon, but I'll talk about that in a minute. I use free for her exit command and she does very well with that too. Again, a lot to expect a puppy to understand behavior in four days like this, but it can be done, obviously she did it. I'm concerned her kennel may be too large. She will walk circles in it for most of the time I'm at work. There is an average of maybe one hour out of seven that she actually lays down and relaxes because I have it on camera. Cindy's answer was, I would probably invest in a better crate. And I'm, Cindy and I agree on this. If she's trying to destroy the wire kennel and she actually does get out, then you have a bigger problem to try and solve. Once a dog has learned that they can escape, it becomes a chronic, chronic issue. And then the only thing that will hold them in are these very, very expensive aluminum crates with very sturdy doors. They're not gonna get out of those. But once a dog's learned how to get out of a wire crate, and quite frankly, even once a dog has learned how to get out of a plastic airline crate, it could be hard to hold them in. You're gonna to have to go and do some additional modifications to the airline crate. These wire crates, like this poor dog, when it goes into this wire crate, what does it think about? It thinks about the hell it just had and where it used to live. And it thinks like it's going back into solitary confinement. Can you blame it? Sad deal, very sad deal. 
So Cindy said, uh, at the very minimum, an airline style crate. She said, I don't like the wire crates for dogs that have say, crate anxiety. They're too easy to break out of. We have an article on our website that talks about this. And we're going to put the URL at the bottom of this video right now so you can go and read it. Cindy says, I think this article will give you some ideas. And uh, she's, the person comes back and says, thank you. I switched her kennel and she has already calmed down so much just in the first day, which tells you how frantic this poor dog was about going back into a wire crate. She crawls into the new crate while I was setting it up <laughs> and went right to sleep. What a cool little dog. I already see a difference in her personality now that she is more relaxed. That's just great. You know, it makes our day when we get emails like that and then the feedback and people tell us that they've done what we recommended and it actually worked. People have to be a little bit careful. I'm gonna go off a little bit here. People have to be a little bit careful about who they take advice from. And I have this old saying that, you know, everybody wants to help you train your dog and raise your dog. Ask your neighbor, ask your barber, ask the postman. Everybody has an opinion on how to train a dog. All of these people are really well intended. They wanna help. Problem is 99% of them don't have the experience to offer good advice and you end up getting old farm <laughs> tales on, old wives tales on how to raise your dog. It's just not a good example of, of how to approach managing and living with a dog and training your dog. Come to liberty.com. There's, it's a, my website's been up since like 1994, thousands of pages on it, hundreds and hundreds of articles, free videos, over a thousand free videos, searchable. And now these websites, at this point in time, we had 111,000 subscribers. Uh, but we also sell training DVDs, puppy DVDs, relationship DVDs, and online courses, and have been doing that for 40 some years now. So if you have a question on behavioral problems like this, feel free to drop us a note and we'll help you.